Yeah, so my topic was on the unbefriended population. So these are people who have no one to represent them when medical decisions need to be made. And they've never filled an advanced directive. And currently that accounts for about 4% to 5% of all ICU deaths uh, in the United States. And that's estimated about 5% of the 1.5 million people living in nursing homes fall into this unbefriended population. Again, people who are decisions need to be made. There's no one to make the decisions. There's no advanced directives. And currently what happens is it's kind of a mess, is that individually providers figure out how to make decisions for these people. Um, and uh, most of the time it's done in a way that doesn't protect them adequately from both undertreatment and overtreatment. So for this population, again, most vulnerable, these are people who often may have been living alone for a while, may have had family members who may have died before, um, or they are no longer in contact with them. So I think the two things that we as a field could do is first, think about before they get into problems where they lose their ability to make decisions and they have no one to make decisions for them because they've never a, ever done advanced care planning, filled out advanced directive, filled out durable power attorney paperwork. Um, our goal should be how do we actually get them to fill out this information? How do we fill them out, get them to fill out durable power attorney forms so they're assigning someone to make decisions for them? There's other things that we can do to make sure that we don't get into these situations. Um, that's probably the one of the most, um, most important parts, is really identifying what's important to them, what are their goals, what are their values. So when they do get into these situations too, that we know a little bit about them and hopefully that there's somebody that we can identify, a friend, a neighbor who can help us make decisions. The second big thing is when we're in these situations is to have a rational way to think about how we can protect these people, what kind of pathways can we put in place, what kind of policies can we put in place to ensure that we're doing the right things for them, that they're protected, again, from both under-treatment and over-treatment.